Hello, welcome to D and welcome to D and D. It's time for trials of Pharaohs. I'm extremely tired, but let's get on with this. As I will undep them. Uh, might as well, I guess, right? I have arrived. Wait, what? What's happening? Well, uh, we're going to check out Ma the Ma the magic shop. Remember the guy that made the giant image of himself and was like, <laughs> "Please come to my shop." Okay. Uh. Then, then what was next? Uh, we go find oh, the we go. Yeah, we gotta go. Uh, we gotta, gotta do our mission. Our, it's here, uh, here our big assassination big mission. Uh, assassin oh. guy has same goal as us. So if we just climb, we'll eventually meet him and then we kill him. Easy. All oh, right, but remember, no, no, killing in the world dungeon unless it's self defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me. Kill so him. we just gotta provoke him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, let me do it. That's um, cool. Crime. But I, <laughs> I do crime. Badlands. A question for for DM here. Mm -hmm. The stuff oh. that's happening in text, does it, is it like a separate at a separate time from what's happening yeah. in our sessions? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, that makes a little more sense. <laughs> All right. So basically, like yeah, we spent like you know the day. We spend a day at like home and, and then we teleport circle back here. Okay. All right. That makes sense. <laughs> all right. So in the last session, you all, uh, you all arrived onto the new layer. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty glowy. It's pretty nice. Uh, it's just a small town on this layer. There's not really much to be is. It's basically cool. Like it's called a city, but in actuality, it's just a small town. As many people don't really leave off the first layer. Uh, somehow. As, uh, yes, you eventually arrived and, uh, was told that you were going to meet someone, uh, who turned out to be the son of Carsus. Whoa. Who, um, who basically told you, hey, I uh, got a job for you. Um, do this. And then, uh, Go go kill someone. You ass assassinate them. <laughs> I've been because uh, they're trying to do the same thing that you're doing. Lamal. So yes, uh, you agreed and got uh, your down payment and uh, and left. Where of course you went onto a teleportation circle, went home, and eventually came back. Whoa. So. Uh... Yeah, let's go check out that shop, right? Yeah, yeah, that guy that, you know, gave you migraines from trying to wish him away. <laughs> uh, I suppose we can, you know, goof around a little bit. Yeah. Hey, I've been, one I've been uh, wondering about this shit that I've been with. I should pass by this door. Huh? Uh, hey, 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 hey. Come on. Uh, as you pass by this door, and basically uh, to your right side, you just hear from the other side of the door, just simply, God damn it, shit, fucking shit, fuck, fuck, shit, just coming from the other side. Uh, should we check on that? <laughs> uh, let's knock first. Knock, knock, <laughs> knock. Shit, fuck, fucking come in now, fuck. <laughs> She's gonna open the door and look <laughs> in. As you do, you see this person currently on the sh on each seat, uh, a complete sort of shadowed person. Uh, as what you notice is that they are uh, in <laughs> they are forever falling between two portals. Uh, <laughs> as, uh, hello. As they are completely falling through. However, what you notice then is that in the actual like fall, there's this whole thing where the where there's like books and stuff in the fall as well. <laughs> Thus, he keeps smacking them and then they go all over the place. <laughs> Bro, just ah, should we work himself. Help, help them? <laughs> uh, I, I got it. Me, and then I cast me. Featherfall on him. Oh, I oh my god. So it doesn't flat. Okay. As you cast Featherfall, uh, his descent will instantly, like, basically slow down as they start to Featherfall, and then they just move to the right completely fine. Uh, 
there was one issue where basically they were falling so much, uh, and there's no such thing as, uh, as what you call it, uh, max inertia. So <laughs> he was only going to get fast. <laughs> Are you all right? Yes, I, I'm good, I'm good. Um, oh, sure. Yeah, right, uh, never doing that again. You should try it sometime. I think I'll pass. Yeah. Thanks. Oh. I think my Maybe brain you should is, like, close in my those legs. magic circles. Oh, yes, they, they'll click their fingers as the portals disappear. Why Ugh. didn't you do that before? Because I would have splat the ground and died. I uh, I was falling more than like 10,000 feet a second. Perhaps you should have a scroll of feather fall on hand. You are From now on, just in case. You are entirely right, miss. I was supposed to have a spell prepared for it. However, I'm a warlock. <laughs> there is a magic shop, I think, close by. He groans uh, immensely day. at the mention of the magic shop as he goes, Oh, God, don't mention them. <laughs> that guy, He's right? going to leave swiftly, like speed walk out of the room. All right, where are you going? Thanks for helping me. I, all right. <laughs> hey, uh, weird, you're bro. welcome. You should thank Sol, though. He he cast the, the spell. Bye. Uh. Yo. Oh, hello there. Yo. Is there something uh, you need? I don't know. What do you do? I'm a teacher. I teach. You looking to enroll? Can you teach me about something? Uh, sure. I know many of the things. After all, my name is, of course, Mr. Fornius. Mr. Fornication? What? Fornius. Okay. I'm a demon. Ah, shit. Cool. So, exactly... What stuff do you teach? Because I've got this weird eye thing where I see... Uh -huh. I look at him and I, you know, I have that weird thing, right? Yes. And what do I see? <laughs> you see that he is a constant state within the universe. For he is a demon. Ah. Uh, so you're like in a constant state of... Existing, I guess. Being part of the universe and all that kind of shit. I don't teach that, I just teach rhetorics and languages. Ah. You know, I teach, uh, of course, oh. the art of persuasion, and of course, language. I know every language there is. Flick's non-existent hair. Can, can you teach major? me a... Oh, yeah, a I remember... Mm -hmm. Okay, I remember one language that I heard in a certain continent. I don't. I didn't understand a word of what they were saying, but... Oh? You know, they were all... void infected. If you know what that is. I do not. Ah, dang. It was pretty cool, they were speaking like... <laughs> oh, you mean Dwee de Mon Kamrai Gakos the Divlas? That's priority. This is just what? Oh. Can I, can I learn that? I mean, anyone can learn it as long as they take lessons for a small fee of two spouse arts. I'm a warlock, you see. Ah. <laughs> uh, I, I, I sympathize with you, so, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. All right. Congratulations, Sylvanas, you permanently lose two first level spell slots. I knew but... it! Unfortunate! You know it Fair doesn't enough. matter, though, because, uh... I, I have three billion uh, <laughs> other spell slots, so it's fine. You can cast Whoa. as many first level spells as you want. Oh, right, because uh, I'm a fucking world high dungeon. level wizard. No, because you're in the world dungeon. <laughs> oh, right! I also forgot that. Yes. 
Oh, All right, there you go. You now have two first level spell slots. That's that's fine. But at least Whoa. I know primordial. Oh. <laughs> yeah, at, least world, the, oh. at least once we leave the world dungeon, you'll lo lose those two. You'll have two less uh, first level spell slots. So you know. Well done. There's sure. that. Yeah. Let me uh, take a seat. Take a seat. I I can give you a quick teaching lesson with the help of your specials. All right. Up, up, up. Ah yes. Where you're sitting at the moment is where Mister Sally sat. Ah, oh, best student I've ever had. As uh, they'll basically put down a book uh, and simply go. All right. I shall show you the basic nouns and verbs. Which sentence would you like to know first? Yeah. Uh, uh... This one, and then I point to a random scribbled line. Alright, if you're gonna do a random word, hang on, let me go to a random dictionary word. What? Alright, random word. Uh, number of word. One. Start. <clears throat> and the word that you generate is... What the fuck is that? Okay, that one's better. All right, you, the word you point to is table. <laughs> mm. Whoa! Brilliant. They will, <clears throat> they will uh, simply look towards the. Uh, they will look uh, towards the word and say, "Ah, oh, yes, that word. Well, if you're willing to learn the word, uh, that is table, or in primordial, it's raw word." Yes, Broad. Mm. Nice, nice. Uh, just start learning this guy. Yeah. Of course, if you're looking for a many different noun, then it's Gorvino. Whoa. Mm. Alright, that's gonna take There's like an hour. <laughs> anyway, go yeah. over to the others. <laughs> as uh as the others basically <laughs> walk over there, you see the huge projection as it just simply goes, Come on! To see us when queries or whatever. <laughs> the door's here. Yeah. Uh, as you walk on in, do, 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 I will make this revealed. We'll do. There you go. Why the fuck is that map not visible, huh? Oh. We, 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 there we see go. him, not the. Not... There you go. We see a man <laughs> in the void. And, yeah, so it's basically you take a good old steps up and, uh, Whoa. You find uh, the man in a smaller intonation as he's sort of fighting with a, uh, a golem of sorts as I look towards you and just go... Oh, hello. Uh, hello. We heard uh, about your shop from the very, very loud projection outside. Marketing, of course. Yes. What is it that you want? Oh, we're curious to see what kind of wares you're selling. If that's not obvious. Well, yes, but uh, I sell many, 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 many things. It just depends what you're looking for. After all, my entire inventory is out to you all. You spell you sell spell scrolls? Yes. All the way up to ninth level, All indeed. Alright. Let me just look through these. <laughs> look through a spell list of spells. Yes. I have every single spell from first to ninth. I can just write the spell for you myself if need be. I'm a professional. Yes, well, I'm not and haven't looked it haven't looked it up beforehand what I want. So, um, oh, definitely should get magic missile. Oh. Magic Missile is indeed a very good spell. It was created by, of course, Henry Oakwood himself. In fact, it was the very first spell he ever created. 
Magic Missile is the oldest spell in existence. Strange. That was a You'd train. It'd be something different. <laughs> Got any items from this Henry Oakwood person? <clears throat> oh, looks at you. Of course I do. You're looking at the man himself. You're Henry Oakwood. Yes. A pleasure yeah, to meet sure. you. Can't say I've ever heard of him. Sure you are. Okay. All right. Well, if you don't believe me, that's fine. But yes, I have uh, I have some memorabilia from my time as uh, being alive. Uh, so you're dead? In a way, aren't we all? I suppose you make a very fair point. Do you happen to have any kind of books about souls? Yes, I do. May I see them? I'm just going to type up a list of spells that I want well, and put them in it, uh, this page. <clears throat> it depends what sort of soul book you would like to have. There's, of course, Soul Nancy <laughs> created by Pop. Or, of course, you can even talk about different sort of ones, such as harvesting souls in order to use them as a resource. Although, I wouldn't recommend that. I'm looking for something quite specific. How to restore a soul, if that is possible. Oh! Hmm. I don't believe there's a way to restore a soul, but there is a way to replace one. I see. Well, can I look at that tome then? Of course. For a measly fee of 2,000 gold. How much gold do we have right now? Did I put it in my sheet? Uh, we got that five million gold advance, so... <laughs> yes, we do. Haha. <laughs> and, and we all, all right, here you go. individually have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Sh Shu is going to pass over the, the gold to the seer here. Mm hmm. Hmm. One second, I took a bite of my chicken tikka. Oh god, it's spicy. Oh fuck. Oh no. Oh, I didn't know it was spicy. Alright, so, uh. <laughs> oh no, he's doing chicken skewing a friend. I'm usually good at spicy food, but I was just surprised. Alright, uh, so, as he basically, um, uh, takes the money, you suddenly notice that the money just turns into a liquid in his hand as it just disappears. Uh, before then, he simply says, A pleasure for the business. And of course, your book, my lady. As uh, they will hand you a very uh, dark looking book. Whoa. Thank you. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me go get my note for it. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Ababa. It is known as uh, Soul Flo Soldier Forge, reclaiming your destiny. Is it written in any particular language, or is it in common? Uh, it is written in arcane. Well, can I read that? <laughs> you cannot. Okay, um... Damn. Wait. Do I have comprehend languages with this? Uh, 
one of them could just wish cache comprehend languages on you. <laughs> yeah, I could. I could do that. Actually. <laughs> do you have a spell of comprehend languages? I would like to purchase one. I do indeed for 2,000 gold. Another 2,000 gold is handed over. Mmm. Get your squirrel comprehend languages. All right. Uh, Shu is going to use the scroll of comprehend languages in order to learn how to speak arcane to read the book. All right. I wish it's like a beer beer and the water. Ah. Too spicy. Oh, no, not the spicy. The upcharge is real. I know, right? <laughs> we bought scrolls for way cheaper that are way higher level. Big sad. Right, I'm back. Welcome back. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, you read the book. Whoa. <laughs> uh, so. The book seems to be pretty old itself from the pages. Wait, is Mitch here? Right here. Okay, I'm a listener. Sure. You didn't go over it. All right. <clears throat> uh, so as you basically read over the book, it seems to sort of talk around about myths and legends around soul manipulation. Basically, the aspect of changing one's soul. <clears throat> because one interesting thing is that uh, the body is cons of three ingredients, the soul, will, and, of course, the body. <clears throat> if you are missing at least one of them, you're undead. Uh, and, <clears throat> what's interesting enough is that people's souls are constantly recycled all the time. They're completely removed over and over. Because things such as raise dead or even revivify, things like that, is literally taking the souls from a diamond and emplacing it into, of course, a new body. <clears throat> and, of course, the old soul will then go over to the Feywild or the Shadowfell, wherever, and to go be recycled. Recycle. Well, <clears throat> however, uh, soul manipulation is sort of a different sort of aspect of it. Where, of course, the revivifying stuff is because a soul has been damaged and needs to be repaired and, of course, has a replacement. Soul manipulation is the aspect of basically taking a person's soul and just ripping it out and taking another and pulling it in. <clears throat> and the difference between that is that it isn't a new soul that can be placed within someone. You can place another person's soul within you and gain certain aspects of them, either their aspects of their personality aspects of their experience, things like that, anything that bleeds onto a person's soul. Uh, and the book goes into details about how to do this. Whoa! It's a legendary book! Okay. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Specifically, there are two well-known cases. One is an artifact item, the other is simply a sort of ritual to be done. Where... The artifact item is known as uh, simply doo -doo -doo -doo. the Shard of Etos. It is basically a shard made of complete metal that no longer exists within this world. Wielding it makes the wielder capable of manipulating souls and severing them from people. 
And then, of course, when a soul is severed, you can attempt to, of course, uh, replace it with your own via, of course, meditation and different techniques such as that. It's about basically seeing the weave itself, seeing a person's soul with uh, even soul sight, things such as that. It's a complicated method that, with the help of an item, though, it's able to actually make it a pretty easy one if you know how to sever souls. Then there's the second method. <clears throat> this one is a more easier one, as sometimes it accidentally happens in day-to-day -day life, uh, which is also known as Magic Jar. Uh, a 6th level necromancy spell. <clears throat> basically, Magic Jar is a pretty interesting spell. Uh, basically, you put your consciousness into a jar, and then you can take over another creature, and their consciousness is in the jar. And as long as you have that jar around you, then, of course, you'll be controlling that person's body. Uh, or until, of course, the jar has moved away. <clears throat> it's the aspect of taking your will and shoving it into another creature. <laughs> Forcefully... <clears throat> Uh, forcefully basically taking over that person in general, uh, leaving behind any of the aspects of yourself from before. Your physical aspects and, of course, your soul. Uh, <clears throat> there's a little funny secret that the book goes into about this spell, where usually if the jar is more than, I believe, out of its range, which is, let's take a look, yeah, 100 feet, uh, usually you are projected back into your original body. However, with the use of what's known as, of course, a latent stone. Well, <clears throat> a latent stone is basically a stone of expended uh, magic. So basically a mana stone that's been expended. With the help of a latent stone, you're actually able to absorb in the magic jar spell itself while in the body taken over. Thus, it causes the spell to be disrupted in a way, causing a person to permanently become merged with that person. Thus, of course, leaving your previous soul behind and any of your physical aspects for a new beginning, quote-unquote. Okay, so upon reading this book, she would understand that if this spell were to be done she would lose she would lose her physical form currently <clears throat> inhabit a new body and she would essentially assimilate her consciousness and soul with whoever was in that body previously yes the previous uh the occupant of the original body would be stuck within the jar and eventually just dissipate and die because the magic isn't keeping them up anymore. Uh, <clears throat> make me an arcana check. Absolutely. Where is my skill check? Arcana time. Ba -da -da -da. Do I have advantage on this? Ah, uh, no. Okay. Uh, mm. oops. Pretty good. Huh? That, did that not work? I said okay. Yeah, uh, it rolled. Uh, okay, you there just, we go. So I got 15 and 2. <laughs> that was oh, well, that's fine. Uh, <clears throat> Alright. Uh, with a 15, I can't... Boom, they, they have four more. Oh, Aha. okay. Yeah, You're not 19. 19? Oh, God. Okay, that's better. Alright. <clears throat> with a 19, what I can tell you is this. Uh, eyes, uh, the person that's connected with your soul, the whole reason you want to do this in the first place, uh, is connected to your soul. So, of course, leaving the aspect of your will into another will, of course, leave, uh, will, of course, leave eyes behind. But, with a 19, what I can tell you is this. If, uh, if you didn't have that 19, I would have just ended there. Uh, <clears throat> but, uh, with a 19, what you can know is this. Because you you now have a new body in that aspect, then, of course, uh, the husk left behind of your previous, uh, body it would then of course have well be an empty vessel for eyes if you commit it right people all right hmm i want to know is why People are why there's a fireworks show going off in the middle of 
March. Whoa. It's me. The celebrated It's St. Patrick's Day weekend. Oh, right. Mm. Yeah, also that. That would make sense. I, I forgot. Yeah, uh, I that one doesn't matter as much. It's because it's CD. Tomorrow. Yes. I can't believe I can't believe uh Void would just insult the Irish like that. Yes. Well, no way I can, he's British. I'm quarter Irish, I can insult them. <laughs> So yes, there's uh there's the funny. Okay, thank you. I am just writing this down on the notes channel, so en enjoy. Yeah, really Boy, can you give me access to being able to edit the macros so I can put in spell macros? Ah. Uh... You can, can't you? You just right-click on your macro. I don't know how this shit works. <clears throat> Why are you trying to do add spells into your spell thing? Yeah, I have to add... Well, I want to add these spells, but also I have to add all the spells that were previously just unprepared. Okay, hang on. I can give you the spell book, but like you have to try and look and listen to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just save a copy of my token and then. Uh, here's the spell book. Oh, well, well. I'll give you ownership. There you go. <laughs> then I. Do I just like copy? Stuff from here into my shit. Then okay. yeah, you can uh, Let you can see. drag and drop them into it. Let me just save copies of these real quick. Yes. Anyone else going to buy anything? Uh, do you have anything related to soul trees? That's the same question as them about, of course, souls. Yes. Alright, do you have any items related to them? <clears throat> I have two. Can I see him? No. Why not? Well, you have to pay first. If you're so interested in the items, uh, well, there is, of course, two. One of which is a monocle, and the other one is, of course, a sickle. All right, how much for the sickle? Yeah. <clears throat> 20,000 gold. Was that 50,000? Sure. Alright. I hand over 50,000. Whoa. They take the gold, it disappears. <clears throat> they hand you a, uh, a, a bright orange sickle. Mm. How much do I need to hand over for, uh, for the spells? I ain't the least. Posted them in the items. Oh. Uh, basically, it's spell level times 1000, so 1000. Okay. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, just give me the total price for the spell levels. Okay. I can do that. Yeah. And I'll identify the sickle 
I don't need to identify it because enchanter <laughs> Lamau. <laughs> All I, right. I just find out what it does. Yes. All right. Whoa, it's a cool sickle. It's bright orange. It does uh, 1d4 fire damage when you hit a creature with it. Simple weapon. Uh, normal sickle stats, basically. <clears throat> However, it's a plus three. The mouth. Plus three sickle. Whoa. Uh, basically, when you score a critical hit against a creature with this, uh, it causes uh, 2d8 additional fire damage. And in addition, the creature must make a constitution same throw. Otherwise, uh, their soul is severed from their body and they reduce to zero hit points. What, are you trying to get into the farming business with Sathanas or something? Yes. Uh, what What's the save they have to make? <clears throat> Con. What's the, what's the DC? Or is it my spell DC? Uh, you're an enchanter to your spell DC. Oh, oh, wait, yeah, 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 okay. Are there other services you provide besides <coughs> uh, scrolls and items and books? Oh, yes. I provide healing, teaching, anything of the sorts. I'm a connoisseur. You see, I'm a jack of all trades, you could say. Don't think it could hurt to pick up a, uh, a couple new skills here and there, I suppose, right. if we'll be stuck in here for a while. 49k gold is what I'm spending. Well... <laughs> hmm. I will have to, and then next time we go back to the house, I'll inscribe all these spells. Yummy. Uh, is it possible you could do something about my, uh, eyes? Apparently I'll go, uh, crazy like an undead eventually, according <clears throat> to the Archmage currently. The current Archmage. Well, if you're missing one of the three components, I could always shove a replacement into you. Uh, I don't think I'm missing one of them. I just, uh, stabbed myself with a soul-devouring sword in the eye. Yeah, it was pretty sick. Your that eyes kind sounds... of devoured the <clears throat> sword. Oh, so yes, your soul is damaged. Yes, I can uh, I can somewhat repair a bit of it for a small price of 30,000 gold. Uh, alright. I slide in 50,000 gold. <clears throat> Marvelous. <clears throat> alright. <clears throat> Simply stand still as I use my magic. They shove a sh syringe into the side of your neck. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Wow, you feel warmer. You're no longer undead. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Bro just gave you morphe. <laughs> wow. Poggers. Do I lose know. the soul devouring eyes or do I keep them? You lose them. <clears throat> Instead, what you see is that uh your the symbols in your eyes just sort of pop out into his hands. Pog. Oh. Oh sick, are they a magic item now? Well, I will keep this as uh the rest of the payment. Mm, what if we want to buy those from you? No. Do you think that's a good idea? I, mean, I need them. With lace power, couldn't they just, you know... 
Well, you see, I will not be selling these as uh, I want them. But I suppose that's a fair enough reason. They were originally Lay's. So. I mean, yeah, and but they I paid to get rid of them. And they paid for them to get removed. I mean, if you're fine with it, Lay, I, um, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, I don't need them. I don't want to cannibalize souls. I'd also rather not have anybody else go crazy. You know? That's true. We only really need one soul leader. Not looking at me, uh, right? No, I, I was talking about Sathanas. Ah, yes. that That's true, yes. That's alright. Where did he go? Who? Wasn't he with you? Uh, yes. And there was somebody who was falling. A lot. And, uh, he went into the room after I left. So maybe he's still in there. That sentence made no sense. I'm gonna be honest. Well, it didn't make a whole lot of sense when I saw it either. He just kept falling. Do a I lot. The monocle? Really like fast. They just, like they just kept tripping over and over again? No, there was, there were two like magic sigils, and he was falling between them. Ah, uh, the over classic, and over and over. The classic vortex warp yourself over your own vortex warp. He was very stuck in it. Wow. Well, yeah, yeah, I'll buy the monocle void. How, how much is the monocle? Oh, the monocle is 6,000 gold. 60,000 gold. All right. Oh, all right. I give him 60,000 gold. Mm, pleasure doing business. Yummy, yummy. I can see the monocle. It's a pure gold monocle right. with a single uh, ruby where the, uh, where the fucking lens would be. Uh... Anyway, if you're this, uh, what'd you say your name was? The, the... Oh, yes, my name is I think Sia. Oakwood. No, the John, uh, whatever. I think he said Henry. No, you may call me Henry if you like. I can be named anything. Oh, Henry. Anyway, you wouldn't happen to have, like, a copy of the Akashic Records, would you? Why the fuck would I have that? I, I don't know. I just, just thought I'd ask. No, there's only one in existence, and if I had it, I wouldn't be here. Okay. I made it, after so, all. Did you have it? Did, did you? Oh, you made it, so you had it at some point. Well, I didn't had. I made it and just sort of threw it away. So it's just drunk, but other people tend to use it. But you never made any copies? Oh, God, no. That thing was horrid. It was a failed experiment. Huh. Like... Like, just, like, annoying awful, or, like... Look, I was simply trying to make a item capable of giving me my latest magazine. However, it ended up just being too, too far powerful and giving me everything instead. It was awful. I think you gotta. Uh, I think you should tell your descendant that, because it seems like they think it's like some really great thing. No, yeah, they can use it if they want. I really don't care. It's why I just gave it to my son. People. Wow. That's a shame. I would have liked. I would have liked to buy a copy of that from you, but oh well. I suppose we can't have everything. That's true. Only untold limited, untold power and wealth. 
That's not enough, you know? In fact, I believe it's too much. It got us in here in the first place. No, the reason we got in here in the first place is because your descendant decided it was a good idea to throw us in here. <sighs> I mean, no need to, like, troll a dump. I really don't care. Yeah, anyway, you're gonna buy anything? <laughs> I mean, I mean, we just did. Hmm. Oh, wait. I forgot. I have one thing. I mean, this might be too powerful to have in your inventory, but do you have a cloak of billowing? Yes, I do indeed have cloaks of billowing. In fact, they seem to be my most sold thing around here. You see, I, I had the chance so to obsessed. One, but I passed it up last time. Well, I want that cloak of billowing. I mean, go right ahead. It's only 20 gold. <clears throat> All right. Dang, his voice mod went off. Yes. That's how much he did <clears throat> care about the cloak of billowing. <laughs> I no longer need to be badass anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so what's this golem? Thing, mm. the suit of armor. Well, that thing. Well, it's just a simple project of mine. I'm taking up some alchemy. I see. Yes, you may have already seen one of my uh, pieces of work before if you've been from below the layer. They're the guardians that stand out front. Oh, so you made the thing that uh, erases the person that didn't want to uh, write their name down. Yes. Specifically, it doesn't erase them. It just makes them so they were never born. There's a difference. I do believe that is the exact same principle. Yeah, at well, that point, it's just semantics. Erase is the aspect of simply wiping something to cease to exist. But it always had a past. Well, of course, my good old, uh, my good old project here, Pat Pat, had, of course, uh, well, it simply changes the past. You see, unlike the outside, time could be changed a lot around here. Nice. Yes. Is there, like, um, easy ways to do that? Or is it just you gotta make magic items that can do that? Well, it's not necessarily easy. After all, the only way to do it is if you had, of course, a vow of blood from one of the aspects around here. Luckily, um, uh, Karato, who's standing out front, allows me to take his blood occasionally in return for manga. Oh. He seemed like a very odd him. sort. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Oh, wait. Valro, that's right. Didn't you ask uh, the Archmage if you could have some of his blood? Isn't this the guy the blood came from? This guy? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, he was just saying that nobody but his blood could... Nobody but Henry's uh, blood could even read the Akashic records, so... I was like, oh, then can I have your blood? He was like... He was just like, getting all serious, being like, no, you can't. Well, I'm easy. also saying, no, you can't. <clears throat> I'll have you know, my blood is a very powerful, uh, well, aspect in general. After all, it holds quite literally the key to Vera and Vivella, the goddess of life and death. With it, anyone oh, you know, who I... even touches or consumes it is instantly evaporated unless they hold my bloodline. 
Oh, well, I mean, I was marked by them too, so... Yes, you were marked. However, you're also a Hydra, and I feel extremely uncomfortable around you. However, you are a customer. What do you got against Hydras, huh? Uh, they are creatures that I quite literally had to slay back in my younger years. Alright, I'm out of here. Okay, bye. Forgot your book. <clears throat> no, the fucking Bow. advertisement is going. <laughs> you just walk out and you see a bigger version that simply says, Welcome to Amazing Commodities! Go on in and you'll be able to get the items of your life. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I identify the monocle. Well, it's a monocle of soul sight. With it, you're capable of looking at people's souls and determining their alignment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> in addition, uh, with it, uh, you are capable, of course, having all forms of sight. That includes blind sight, true sight, and blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah sight. <laughs> yes. There's like three sights in D&D. Oh, yes. Wait, what kind of sight do I have? Uh, dark vision. <clears throat> mm. Speaking of which, Savannah, you now know Primordial. Congratulations. Hey. hey, I just realized. Why don't people just wish for language? Pornius looks completely insulted that. at that, as that he simply just goes, <clears throat> Why in the blazes would you recommend that? That is an absolutely horrible idea. You see, the actual best thing about languages and the art of speech is learning the word yourself, to understand it, and to eventually, of course, be able to accomplish your goal. Just wishing for anything is indeed the boring route in things. I used to be like you, going, Oh, I can just wish for it. Oh, I can just learn about it via just other people. When in actuality, it's about going out and learning yourself. Sure, the easy method's there, but, well, what's the fun in that? Simply do it yourself. Also, because it's extremely dangerous. Uh, okay. I understand the danger part. Yes. Like, uh, wish corruption is one of the worst forms around here. Uh. Wait, which, which what? <laughs> mm. I haven't heard of that. Oh, wish it's like corruption. You're, oh, you're, you're, uh, you're a caster. I thought you would know. No. Oh. How many times have you casted Wish? At every mild inconvenience. I am surprised you are still you. I think Sathanas has casted it about like <laughs> a dozen times probably. <laughs> Val's casted it like three dozen times. <laughs> 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 Uh, Val has casted it every so day for a you... month. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fuck. What, what, what exactly does Wish Corruption do? No. Oh, don't gesture at that form. I mean, you look kind of cool. Yes. You want to know what I used to look like? Sure. <laughs> well, what do you look like? Uh, me when I uh, will post that art into Spotify channel. Here you go. Let's see. Let's see. Spoilers. Oh my god, you looked way cooler back then. And I'll put it onto stream. Good damn it, I accidentally made it invisible. There we go. Impersonate, do this. Da -da -da. Whoa. <clears throat> so cool. 
Yeah, so it's basically so they cool. they minor illusion that to appear as uh, they were simply go. Yes, I was the demon. I was, of course, one of the sea demons. My compatriot, the Eater of Leviathans, was my number one general before they attempted to, of course, eat me. I gained too much power, though, and eventually got thrown into this realm, and thought, why not just cast Wish, do what I want? Only then to realize that the more I began to cast it, the more I became this. My form became blackened, and eventually I've lost all touch with emotions anymore. It turns out when you can just wish for anything you like, you tend to lose your humanity. Oh. Okay, but what if you just wished for your humanity back? Don't look at you. Well, that's the thing. You can't. After all, that's more of an aspect of, well, that's not a physical thing or anything like that. It's more of the mental fortitude. Sure, you could always uh, just wish yourself to be happier, but in the end, you'll just simply go back to how you were before. Mental ailments tend to not last as long. I see. Yes. Okay. Would good. you like that's me to write down the effects of this wish for you, uh, Castor, so you could at least know if you're close to the cusp of it? Yeah, I'll... Yeah. I have a friend who's also <coughs> been casting wish probably oh. a lot more than me. Oh. Yes, well... So, uh, there are four stages to uh, wish corruption. The first stage is, well, the mildness. Uh, hardness to sleep, slight sanity break, uh, maybe even a bit on the chaotic side. Alignment changes and such. <clears throat> you may even feel the need to, well, commit somewhat murder or negative sort of thoughts. Hmm. Usually, it can be, of course, cured and treated by not casting Wish for quite a while. Uh, but then, it's once you're into the second phase, that is when it's the worst. The edges of your hands and your fingers will end up blackened and having large sort of spores come off of them. And, well, you'll feel more compelled to start using Wish to, uh, well, cure everything. Even back in my day, it was just simply laying in bed and wishing for a glass of water instead of getting up. That's how wired it got. <clears throat> then, and of course, despite the side effects, I continued because, well, I could just wish away it. And yes, it may not be seen physically, but, well, the corruption still persists even in, within your magical rays. The third phase, then, is, of course, <clears throat> the hardest to get through. Ah, uh, it's when your incomplete arms, legs, torso become completely blackened and phasing between reality like myself, glitching. Mm. Some even burn off ones and zeros off of them. But, well, that is when you sort of lose your mind in a way. You just simply become a muttering husk who simply keeps wishing for things back to back. Until eventually, of course, the others have to take you down. They have to either just take you to the church and attempt to restore your mind, or, well, kill you. Luckily for me, uh, they were able to get to me fast enough and take me to a church. Where I had then, of course, entered the fourth stage. Which, of course, is, well, I suppose that it is somewhat of a minor benefit, but is also a very bad detriment. Basically, keeping your, si your sanity, your mind, however, well, you become what I am now. Simply a shade, a shadow, that, well, even the world dungeon doesn't aid me anymore. You see, when I cast a spell, I can't regain my spell slots anymore. They're permanently gone. Oh, so that's why you wanted my spell slots. Yes. Of course, the benefit is that I'm able to do things like that. Simply touch a creature and I can take their spells for myself. But at the cost that, well, they too permanently lose it. So I only do it as simple payment sometimes. 
after all, as long as you've got one spell sort or one piece of mana within you, you'll be able to cast anything. First See. levels tend to be the easiest. Okay. So you're completely separated from the world dungeon, in a sense. In a sense, yes. It's why I can't gain the benefits. Even when I rest and I sleep, I don't feel restful. He doesn't gain the benefits Do of long rest. <clears throat> oh, that is much more horrifying than I first thought. Okay. Okay, that's bad. Yes. It staves away exhaustion, but any wounds or anything that I gain is just, well, there. It's why I lock myself in here and simply teach students such as yourself. Ones that want to learn as I share my knowledge of theatrics, rhetorics, and of course, languages. Oh. Okay. I see. Well, it was nice knowing you. This knowledge will severely help. Uh, if we didn't know this, we would have probably turned into shades uh, in less than two days or something. Well, it's fine. The most that, well, people can usually handle is about a hundred wishes before the symptoms start to come in. Okay, okay. Problem is, one of my friends had probably casted wish 30 times in the past month. Hmm. Well, I suggest to be careful. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, also, what was your name again? <clears throat> oh. Me? Mr. Fornius. Mm -hmm. I am one of the, uh, well, used to be one of the archdemons before Varusiel had killed all my other kinds. Mm. Also, you mentioned uh, being a part, you know, really to, what was it, Leviathan Eater, or Eater of Leviathans? Yes. Do you have any slight knowledge on what a World Eater is? <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. I have heard of such cases before. Creatures capable of consuming things to the point that they eventually become so big that they become world devourers. That's all I really know, though. Uh, okay. Okay, good to know. Also, is that your cat? I pointed at the big, fat cat creature over there. Yes. Nah, nice. Would you like all to right, know the name? I'll be... <laughs> I'll ask when I get back. You know, just all so right. I can have something more to talk about. <clears throat> just in case. Ah. Oh. All right, well, his name is Ad Asmodeus, as you disappear. Why is his name after a demon? That's so weird. All right, I'm going to try and find the gang. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's booking it because he found some pretty bad information about what the fuck we're doing. Oh. Fellas, guys, gals, hello. <laughs> Anyone there? Val? Val's at you. Psst. Hey, Val. Ocean? Val, I can't hear you. You are, cur you are currently. Val is on mute. You yeah. have been silenced by the gods. Yeah, what's, what's up? Okay, so I figured something out. First of all, I learned new language. That's cool. Second, uh, don't wish. Don't think wish for language. Uh, apparently it's Why bad. Not? Also, one more thing. Don't wish too much, or you will turn into a shade and uh, go insane. Now, yeah, uh, sure. Who'd you hear this from? Okay, so there's this guy. He used to be a demon. He looked pretty cool. Then I minor illusion. Wait, don't I have minor illusion? No, I don't. Fuck. Never mind. I okay. So there was this guy. He was a demon, right? He was cool and all. And then he went to the oh. world dungeon. He kept wishing and wishing and wishing, and um, he lost himself. And even after he got back, he basically got cut off from being able to heal or use 
spell slots without it disappearing forever. And that's bad. How many times have so, you cast this? I don't know. I don't keep track. Oh my god. Okay. So the threshold is 100 before things start going bad. If that happens, stop casting Wish for a while. Just cool down. That's a cool Can down? I just... Or... And just calm down with the wishing. Hold on, let me see your fingertips. I, I try looking <laughs> at their fingers. <laughs> ah, they're a bit fine. Kind of gross. <clears throat> kind of gross, that's honest, not gonna lie. Okay. So if it starts getting black, that's when you start to, you stop guessing wish. Now you might want to wish away the issues, you know, try to wish away the symptoms, but that only makes it worse. That's how they get you. All right? Whatever. I've already used all all the like big wishes I've needed to do. So okay. I cannot. I can, like, stop casting it for a while, anyway. Alright. Yeah, you know, right. I... I mean, that's the whole reason why I got all these scrolls, is because I'm like... I just need these spells. You know? Rather than just guys... using Wish to cast all these spells, why don't I just have these spells in my... in my deck, and then I can just, you know, cast them whenever. I, I should probably do that too, but fucking, I'm not going to buy from that guy. Well, hey, I can give you, once I finish inscribing all my spells, I can show you my spell list, my, uh, my spell, uh, spell book in air quotes. I mean, it's a deck of cards, but. Okay. Well, I'll appreciate that. Thanks. Also, where's Shu and, um, you know, our, our buddy over Evelyn. They're still in the shop. I left because he's racist against Hydras. Dang. Well, that happens. You know, fucking racist people everywhere. So. But, um. Yeah, I might have. I'm gonna try something with, uh. With a shoe. See some. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see something. Wanna. Wanna join? You know, even if there's a racist guy inside. No, I'm just gonna go sit inside for a bit. I want to get away from this advertisement. Is it still booming, the advertisement? I'm also <laughs> laughing because Chu just kind of walked over to do some sightseeing and everybody's like, away. Yeah, the, uh, in, in the distance, like, you sort of toned it out at this point because it's like so fucking, uh, it's like loud so and loud. obnoxious. Yes, but it's just like this entire time, it's just been just going. No, oh, come on in to Tanaka's amazing comedies and take a burn out. All right. There you go. I, I try to look for. I go into the shop to try and look for a shoe. Beep. Where's shoe? No, oh, hey, Evelyn. Uh, hey, she already left. Me. Nah, dang it. Me, would I go over the shoe to go see? Shoe, what are you doing? Uh, shoe is, uh, the, the, the sightseeing. She, it's like, woohoo. She wanted to see what this, uh, statue was actually when she came in, so. Whoa. As you take a look, Dude. you see. <clears throat> You see a funny, uh, a funny blindfolded man who has, like, a pet owl on his shoulder. Similar to you, if you're pet. <laughs> uh, and I was just, like, sitting there petting it, just looking off into the distance despite being blinded. Uh, but, uh, as you take a look at the statue, uh, <clears throat> it seems to be a, uh, a golden statue of a, uh, of a person that you seem to recognize. Whoa. Uh, but I need to do fall. a history check for this. Is the who nails? It's the man you fought. The Greek king. 
Oh, the Greek king. I'm just like, yeah, there's been a lot of dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, hey. I know him. She's gonna wave at the statue. <laughs> the, the statue doesn't wave back, but as you can see at the bottom, uh, it simply just says uh, it's like an engraving in common. As it simply says, do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Man, this plaque is really hard to read. All right, there you go. King of Greed, in memorial of the Witch of Pride, I give you a statute of myself, Teehee. Possibly the most bizarre in memoria plaque I've ever read. Whoa. <laughs> So, is this is this like a stag, or is this supposed to be another creature then? Uh, if it's, it, it's uh, the Greed Kings. It's a golden dragon. Okay. Whoa. I want to be able to copy the text, my guy. Not allowed? There I am. Ha <laughs> ha. Can actually oh, can I make a history check? Would would I know who the the witch of pride is? Sure. History. History time. I got a five, baby. Oh, uh, you have no idea. All you know is that they were one of the people who was in the uh uh <clears throat> who was in the great dungeon. Well, in the World Dungeon. You haven't heard of them outside of the World Dungeon. The only thing you heard from was from Bib. Okay, Bibble. <laughs> I mm -hmm. wish I could spell today. Mm -hmm. I wonder who that is. Maybe I'll ask Bibble about them. <laughs> Wait, I have speak with animals. I want to talk to the owl. <laughs> Gonna the talk the to the owl. Well, right. you know what? I I d d drew it at drew it at heart, man. Still drew it at heart. All right. Uh, you can speak with animals. Yes. All right. No, I meant to cast that as ritual. Fuck. Anyway. Well, you have unlimited spell slots. It doesn't matter. Still. <laughs> All right. What do you do? Hello. She's addressing <laughs> both of them, by the way. She's addressing both of them. But the only both. one who can see her, she assumes, is the owl. Both of them, both him and the owl, basically turn towards you as you just hear from uh, the guy as he goes, Hello. And uh, from the owl, you just hear, what do you want, miss? You can't be from around here now, can you? The, the, I beg your pardon? Hmm? I, I, I beg said your hello. Pardon? Oh. What? You yes, mean me? Andrew huh? You mean me, huh? Well, I don't see you around, stranger. What, you you here to, like, rob us just because my own is blind, huh? Huh? Come on, pick a fight, huh? What? You got a bird as well? I can take both of you on. Come on. I regret casting speak with animals very much. Oh, you can understand him? Yes, I used to be a druid. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. I know that um, Jack over here is a really calm and kind bird. He's done nothing but been my side for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to know that, like, if you uh, if you hurt my master, I'm going to have to beat you up. Don't worry. I got both these hands and I got an extra pair behind my back. <laughs> come on, come on. I I don't want I don't want to fight you. I I just happened to come over and 
wanted to chat. Oh, um, is everybody in the world dungeon so aggressive? Did, oh, the Jack uh, uh, say to fight. <laughs> he like looks over towards the bird. Oh, you can't just expose me like that. After all, I try to be good here. So you here to like beat us up or something? I know I, I got my I got my extra pair of boxing gloves. N no, I'm I'm not I'm not here to fight. I I'm just we're still fairly new here, so I'm trying to get accustomed to everything. And mm. I, I suppose make some allies while we're here. We could probably use them. Oh, well, welcome to the City of Pride. This is, uh, well, a second town. It's a bit quiet as, well, not many people tend to be around here. It's either the third or the first where most people are. Uh, you can, well, you can mostly feel safe around here. Is You guys <clears throat> feel safe here. But yes. you're trapped in here. Well, I mean, I was born here. My parents were the ones who were, well, as you word it, trapped. They came in here in the World Dungeon in order to establish a new life. Since, well, they were apparently, how should I say, exiled from everything else that they could arrive to. So this was their only home. Thus, I was, well... I've lived here my entire life, here. I wouldn't necessarily say I'm trapped. I... Yeah, that's fair. If this is all you've known, it would be home. So your parents came from outside of the World Dungeon. But... A lot of people in the first layer seem to think that there's nothing outside of the World Dungeon. But that, that's not true. Well, more of that there's not really a life outside of it uh, is how we tend to go. The ones down below tend to follow the aspect of the sloth, where they just think that wielding the way down in the towns will eventually lead to their, well, they just live their daily lives in blindness. <laughs> Laughs at the words of being blind, despite them being blind. As, uh, <clears throat> they'll just say, people who tend to, well, progress forward before the first uh, floor are the ones who truly know what's outside. My parents used to tell me stories about the world, about the grass, the land, natural light, which was apparently given by the gods, compared to the light here that's produced by, well, an artificial sun. Thing really beats real sun and real grass. Hmm. I don't, can't really tell the difference since I've never seen it, but I'll trust the words. Me and my friends are doing what we can to get out of the dungeon, and if we do succeed and don't get turned into items, I'll make sure to come back and... We'll take you out, and you can feel the real sun, and smell real grass. Although, I'm sure the grass here is just as normal as the grass outside, but that's kind of besides the point. Well, you don't have to feel forced to do that. If you do get the opportunity, it would be nice, but, well, it's peaceful here anyway. The bird looks Always toward. believe that. The bird looks towards you and goes, Yeah! You can't just, like, kid my master like that. You gotta go for me first. Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> well, you can come as well. I wasn't excluding you in the invitation, Mr. Yeah, I'm Owl. Not, I'm not gonna take your offer or anything. I'm going with my master. They're the ones tired. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are those two? <laughs> Can I get your names? Oh, yes. Uh, my bird here um, is Jack. Oh. <clears throat> uh, 
Well, my name is, of course, uh, <clears throat> where the fuck is the name? Where did I put the sheep for the NPC? See, save it to the token. There we go. <clears throat> uh, well, my name is Axel. Called you. Yeah. Well, nice to meet you, Shu. If you are looking for uh, any sort of sites or places to stay, you're, uh, I know a bit of this place. Maybe helpful in the future. Thank you very much, Axel. Jack. No problem. Don't be afraid to ask if you see me about. I tend to just, uh, well, hang out at night time. I have a very important day job. Yeah, yeah, yeah! We've got, we got very important work. We're like important people, you see? <laughs> That's why if you try to, like, her Axel here, the master, I'm gonna have to go beat you up. Yeah! Absolutely. I wouldn't dream of it. All right. Well, uh, good luck with your looking around, I guess. Well, have have a pleasant evening. Bye. Goodbye. Why Goodbye, do all of the birds seem so angry? <laughs> <laughs> Went the wrong way. I missed the exit. <laughs> Awkwardly meets them again and walks away. And circles <laughs> suck. <laughs> They just keep going round and round and round. Oh. I wonder why. Goes back over to the shop. Why are you still here? What do you are want? Are they still in the shop? <laughs> oh. Hey. Also, he, and then he starts running and then bumps into oh. shoe violently. Ah, I disappeared behind the advertisement. Bye bye. <laughs> Sylvanus dies. <laughs> He's consumed oh. by the advertisement. Oh, there you are. I was wondering right. where you went. Okay, so, Shu. Can I talk to your eye person for a second? Eyes? I suppose, but can you see them? I use my magic eyes. <laughs> my special eyes. My special eyes. Do I see them? Uh, yeah, you see the funny eyeballs. I see the shadow. All right, gotta chop them. Uh, and then I start speaking in primordial. Hey, can you hear me? Uh, well, it I just nods. Can. <laughs> okay, so you can understand me, but you can't speak. Do you it know nods. what happened to Shu in particular? It nods. Okay. So you got an idea. Do you... Mm, hold on. How do I... How do I... What, what the fuck was I planning? All right, I just told Shu, okay, I understand him. And apparently he knows what happened to you. You know, so... And ye, you're missing a soul, right? Yes, I've spoken to Eyes about that. They've given me parts of their soul to essentially make up what I've lost. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. But, um, how does that, how does that work? Is he, like, slowly taking over you or something? No, he's essentially bound to my soul now ah uh, okay okay yeah, i just wanted but, to check huh but in order to well i want to be able to let him be a kid again because he's a kid he's a child like everything that happened 
he was an orphan, and the reason why he helped us was because he was afraid. He was afraid of what was happening, and he wanted to help us. And he gave parts of his soul to me when I got infected, and then after I made that pact with Dorella, and now that he's soul-bound to me, I need to find a way to fix my soul so that... Wait, he's soul-bound to you, but you don't have one? What? He's essentially given me parts of his soul Okay. to Wait, fill up he... what I've lost. So if he's a void creature, you know, we saw him there uh, back, no, back in the... Man. So if he's a void creature, but he still had a soul, does that mean it's yeah. possible that your soul is still existing? Like, it's not gone, gone. Man, it's I have something. a real good analogy for it, but it's the most cringe-ass analogy ever. Do it. Do it. We are all cringe. Cringe? How, how, many, how many of you guys know Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> I know <laughs> vaguely of it. I know, I know about Kyrie it. Kyrie used the heart. <laughs> no, I'm I'm thinking of how Ventus basically no. fixed Sora's heart, but mm. I go I got mm. real, real Kingdom Hearts deep lore <laughs> analogies for that, which will uh, not yes. land at all. But <laughs> someone will appreciate it. Looks at stream. Okay. King at you stream watchers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there's Oh I also I could talk to Eyes now. That's pretty cool. I learned a new language. I can see that you did. <laughs> now that I think about it, I haven't tried looking at you. Right? I tried looking at Shu with this special eyes. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. You just basically see a black silhouette of Shu with a bunch of eyeballs. Oh. Oh dear. It's like oh, crying. Dear. Yes. Oh lordy Jesus. Uh, I mean, have so you she... looked at yourself in a mirror? Damn good point. Okay. Uh, I'll probably do we still do that. even have the the old void mirror? No, uh, that's just a bad <laughs> idea to look through. It's it's on dust. Yeah. Okay. Also, I forgot. I... You just reminded me when you said look in a mirror. Hang on. <laughs> One second. Uh... One second. One second. We're all about to die. Yes, new token art of uh, sexy Colonel Sanders. You should have reminded I'm me. Fucking... <laughs> I forgot as well. <laughs> I keep forgetting. All right, just look at it. And say, okay, Shu. That uh, nothing. It's not. It's not. It's not a big problem. It'll be fine. You know. When you say that, I only get more concerned. Okay, so you're <sighs> fine. You're basically inky blackness, and eyes is quite literally the only thing that is keeping you visible, in a sense. I understand. Yeah, but like, you know, it's, it's just, if something happens to eyes, I don't know how bad it will be, because it will be nothing. Like, not soulless, just absolute nothing. <laughs> uh, at least that's what I see. Which makes it all the more important that I figure out how to either fix my soul or get it back from Dorella so that, yeah. you know. Yeah. Do, do you have a way of contacting this Dorella? Well, I suppose I could commune with her, but I don't think she'd be, I don't know, very keen on giving it back. She doesn't really seem that kind of 
individual. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's fair. Shit. Okay. We'll talk about this later. I've got a plan, but I don't know if we should be risking it this early. So. Well, why not talk about the plan? Then we can, as a group, figure out what would be our best course of action because we still have that strange person to deal with here in the world dungeon. Yeah. Which I think is probably the bigger priority at this moment. Well, judging by Dorella lady, she seems like, she might sound like a god. That the sound about right? Yes, she is a god. Yeah, so my, my plan was either bargain or steal from a god. It all boils down to that. Well, I mean, you, uh, never mind. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Hey, where's, where's that? Maybe she went back inside. Right. And that's, Wait, that's still fine. You, you, you know they went back inside, so long as they said to you. Oh, right, shit. <laughs> I just passed by them. You no, know, maybe they went outside. You no, know, maybe I wasn't looking and they went went outside again. Hello. Hey, Norval. <clears throat> What's up? We came in to get you. Oh, were we uh, doing the mission now? or? I think we're just about as prepared as we're ever going to be. We still have to figure out who the person is and where they are. Which well, could pose a very large problem. We can just climb, because like, you know, they said they don't even know if they're on this floor. Didn't they also say that they were working with someone? What, what, what was it again? Uh, the person we're looking for is uh, the leader of some group. Ah, yes, the Nobab Foundation. Yeah. One of the people in the lobby, that woman who was measuring things, works with the Nobab Foundation. Maybe she has some information we could ask about. I feel like that would be a wild goose chase. I don't think the lower end or like lower members will find out who their leader is. I mean, we could, but that's just another, uh, is that time we can spend? How much time do we have anyway? We have plenty of, well, our time limit is just beating them there to the throne. Could pose a problem. If they get there before us, we lose. Unfortunately, yes. So, uh, maybe we should just start going? There's not a lot of people who climb the floors, so... I think we'll be able to tell. What if they're following behind us, waiting, waiting for us to kill the bosses? You know, guardians. Then we just kill them when we reach the throne? Okay. Mm, then we get good now? Probably make sure that we're well prepared before we get to the throne. Because as soon as we're there, we can assume if they're following us, as you think, that they'll immediately attempt whatever they're planning once we've accessed the throne. I guess we can come up with a plan then when we're near the seventh guardian. Sounds better. Let's do that then. All right. I locate object for the uh, elevator up to the next floor. Whoa. The I elevator. Have range <clears throat> the shard. Yes. All right. 
Uh, as for the next floor layer, do, 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 do. wait, no, it's not. There it is. Oh, it's not visible. I thought that screen. Hang on, I'm using the wrong fucking screen. Uh, where is it? There we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, no, it was. Where we be? Uh, the portal up is in the room where you met, uh, where you met, uh, the funny man. Carlos? Carlos. Carlos? Yes. It's yeah. the portal behind him. Wait, okay. is that a personal I thought that portal? Was personal teleportation circle. Yes. It's also oh, the only way up. And, and it's the elevator, I see. All We're right. gonna have to <laughs> fight him. Hang on, as you, uh, as you go here, uh, of course, the bird and the snake, as you simply go, Hey, welcome back. What do you need? Hey, don't go on back. the next floor. Oh. If you would like to do that, you must, of course, sign up within the registry, as we do need to account for people who go through. Isn't that right, our operator? Yes. You need to put your name here, and, of course, wait into a meeting with <laughs> Carlos. Lay just hits the elevator to go up. You can't do that. Uh, well... We'll write, we'll write his name down. Yeah, her name yeah, down. Yeah, right. Uses yeah. Mage Hand to write my name and then gets in the elevator. You have she to will also happily. scribble her name in there really quickly. Yeah. 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 Sorry, this is a matter of utmost importance. We really do it's need up. to speak to Carlos right yeah. now. You need to be in it. You need to stop it You need to stop it me. <laughs> I can't, I can't get you we up. We were speaking with him earlier. He's hired us for urgent business. Sorry. What? But I, I would be, I would be tall. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> you just hear like muffled noises as you go up. Just go. <laughs> 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 Whoa. <clears throat> Whoa. All right, as uh, as basically you uh, you go on up, uh, you basically see is uh, the place seems uh, basically the same besides the fact that there's a giant red but uh, giant red not button but like a symbol on top as it just simply says in meeting. Okay, I got to uh, wait a bit. Uh, you know that's why they have the waiting room. Yes. Yeah. Welcome to the lobby. Uh Huh. As you take a good I put my seat. ear. <laughs> oh my god, he's being nosy. Yeah, you just hear. <laughs> Alright, you're putting your uh, ear. Yeah, I'll start assimilating to the uh, tickle as well. The mouth. Oh. Alright, Savadas, you, uh, you start putting your ear against it. Lay brings out her bento box with the <laughs> with the sickle and the monocle. Ah uh, yes. Starts devouring. <laughs> Yummy. If you're uh if you're gonna be listening, uh someone else make me a uh perception. I mean at this point Lay's just better Gale. <laughs> Oh god, 26, uh, that's so much. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> basically, as you, uh, you attempt to basically listen in, there are, like, silence runes in place, however, you're able to, uh, hear over them as, uh, as you press your ear, like, through the doorway part. Uh, as basically all you just hear on the other side is just simply, <clears throat> Well, the soldiers are almost, uh applicable if we are able to eventually well recruit them fully i suppose that i'll be able to have a army myself isn't that right as you just hear then the vo another voice respond uh one that you haven't heard before uh <clears throat> which was just basically just going <clears throat> all right that's good to know well 
Uh, I hope this helps. They're mostly prisoners, so, like, if you have any trouble, just be sure to, like, contact my other simulacrum, and, uh, we'll probably get it off sometime. <clears throat> oh, and, uh, don't worry about that whole weird face stuff, uh, currently fixing it. <laughs> As you just basically hear that. Nothing sus. I think Void meant Faye, not Face. Yes. 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 Faye, not Face. Faye. Got it. Whoa. What are you doing? <laughs> Go on. Hello? Sorry. What are you oh, doing? Listening in. Just wanted to make sure the man wasn't <laughs> blown up, killed, or, you know, assassinated. That tends to happen a lot when we're involved for some reason. Definitely, <laughs> yes. You make a fair point. She's going to go back to sitting down on the couch. <laughs> Starts listening even more. <clears throat> Just to, just to make sure he's not gonna get a sudden turnaround <laughs> of being blown up. Uh, as you just listen more, they seem to just talk about more about business. Uh, raising an mm -hmm. army of uh, of some people to help out outside of the war dungeon. Uh, Ooh. And that this weird person is basically uh, uh, a simulacrum of uh, an original person from outside the dungeon. Who's doing business at the moment. Whoa. Apparently they work for something known hey. as the Iron Legion. Iron Legion? Hmm. Are they making fucking robots? Uh. Uh. But that conversation so ends as you start to hear fud in towards the door. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Takes a cool man posing, <laughs> leaning against the guardrail. <laughs> So cool. He's so, so chill. Cool. Yeah, the light on so the top cool. like he needs sunglasses inside. Light on top sort of like turns green as uh as you basically just see someone just come out as you just see this sort of uh you see a uh, a purple haired sort of uh dragonborn as you just see this person just pass by. They give a simple Ooh. nod and carry on. He nods coolly. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And gone. Lucia's like nine feet tall. Ah, <laughs> uh, seven foot two. Oh my good gods. What are people eating down here? <laughs> that man was huge. I don't think he was from uh, down no, here. I, you, know, you know, just uh, uh, male dragonborns are often bigger. And had what? to be at least seven feet tall. You phrased that weird. I got weird vibes. You phrased from it that. exactly how I meant it. Oh my god, Val. Um. Uh, the door now just I don't says get it. unoccupied. Well, we don't oh, need okay. them to go up the elevator, so. Oh, also, I want to mention that guy is not from the World Dungeon. He's just, he's like. No archmage simulacrum thing, but in here. Okay. Why should I care? I don't know. They're building an army, I guess. That's about it. I don't care. You, you just walk on no. in and Carlos is just like, How the hell did you get up here? And we, we don't have a meeting. Why are you back? Oh, uh, we're, you... we're just using the elevator to go up. It's fine. Oh, yeah, we just need to use the teleportation working... circle to continue on. Oh, yeah. right. Yes, I forgot you know, that my portal it... behind was locked to this one. Yeah, I mean, like, we would have used another one, but, like, uh, there... this is the only way up, so. There is another. It's in the very 
like where you first arrived. The clock. Oh. Uh, Locate object oh, that gives you the, cl the, the, cl the closest portal. <laughs> uh, you still cool if we uh, use this one? Glares at Bye. light. <laughs> yes, you can. Uh, you can use it. Just when you come back, use the public one, not my personal one. I use it to go to the back. Okay. All right. Yeah, All right. yeah but Three. I already know. The, we appreciate the, this. The teleportation circles back there. I saw them. You can just yeah. use those. It's, this is awkward. Sorry, man. Sorry. Them. All right. Sorry. We press the video game notification. Whoa. They've pressed the video oh, game. the worst notification sound ever. All right. <laughs> Please wait one second. Uh, I'll oh, end so session here, but Val I'll put you onto your maps. Right. Yeah. Also, she, when Val said the Dragonborn was bigger, she meant and then get teleported. Whoa. You, you can't say for sure what Val was talking about. Oh. Yeah, I know, but he's making assumptions at this point. He can certainly infer, and making and make and make assumptions and making an assumption definitely makes an ass out of you and me. Damn. Yeah. No, Val is not is not romantically has never had any romantic experiences because before they started this campaign, they were hunted like a beast. Yes. Yummy. Because they were a void dragonborn and All right. whatever they use their breath on just kind of zoom. Stopped existing. Huh. That. Yeah, I, I'd assume that would be pretty big grounds for hunting someone right. down. One second. That's the whole reason that they wanted to, to do the whole campaign, because they're like, any wish, huh? Well, now I wish you to are... stop being haunted? <laughs> but now are... Val is Hydra. the hunter. Yeah, but you're also a Hydra, and I don't know how people feel about Hydras, but I don't think it's any better than Void <laughs> Not Dragons. as good. Nowhere. <laughs> it is probably even worse than Void Dragonborn. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, Void Dragonborn, people didn't know about that crap. So, you know, some, some people were like, oh, I don't care what that is. <laughs> the Hydra. The Hydra. <laughs> okay, but what... Man, we sure do keep making everything worse back. for each other, don't we? Yes. No, but Val has... Val ha finally has kin. Because before, she was basically just an orphan. Never knew mm -hmm. her parents. Was tossed in the garbage in the ruins. Okay, but what <clears throat> if we turn you into a void hydra? <laughs> How is that any better? <clears throat> Damn. It Unless sounds cool. It would make it easier. It prob probably would make it easier at releasing my new kin. So, like, wouldn't be opposed to it. And it also mean... sounds cooler. But wouldn't that cause a lot more problems for everybody else? What, me releasing Hydra? Well, yeah. I mean, you have to think about yourself and the people you're connected to in the long run. I mean, you're powerful enough that you'd be fine. But not everybody's as powerful as we are. Which is they kind of matter. why we ended up in here. Why do you say I, that? I don't care about anybody other than you guys. Oh, um, that's sweet. Yeah, sociopathic, but sweet. <laughs> I understand where you're coming from, but we need to take everybody else's lives into account as well, I feel. Because we may be doing more harm than good. All of I'll our actions will drive. have consequences. What if, hypothetically, I we just can... want, I just want my 
newfound kin to be released. Because uh, yeah. I've never had, like, blood family before. Uh -huh. Okay, but hypothetically, what if we managed to broker a peace treaty? You know, have them not kill everyone immediately. Whoa. You know? They are known as god <clears throat> devourers, so... Yeah, and, we will definitely know, need to tackle of, that problem. <laughs> some of the gods just suck. Just outright. That's true. You know, maybe some gods deserve to be devoured. We That's also... what I'm saying. Hey, I high five Val. <laughs> <laughs> However, there are some that if they die, everybody dies. So. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe we just feed the bad one to the I mean, to, to to the hydras. That's their problem at that point. I'm I'm gonna be honest. We'll listen if we get strong enough to release all the uh, all the fucking big hydras. We'll be strong enough to protect the good gods. Look, I'm not saying you have to go on this journey with me. I'm just saying I'm doing this regardless. You know, after we get out, probably. Yeah. Fully. <laughs> what do you want to do after this? You know, you <clears throat> and Blake or Evelyn. Uh, me? Yeah. Out with my friends. Oh, that's that's also sweet. And, you yeah. know, kind of sure moral okay. Yeah. How about you, Ju? Hey, I want to help Lily find her dad, and All hopefully, right. okay. You gotta stick with your girlfriend. She is <laughs> not my girlfriend. But it's a crash. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so we won't release a Leviathan in the Feywild. Okay. That's right. Or a uh, Hydra in the Feywild. Not you know? on purpose. Not on purpose. <clears throat> yes. A Leviathan? So. No. A Hydra? Yes, yeah, sure. If there's a Hydra in the Feywild, then, then they're right. getting released. If they're imprisoned in the Feywild, that is the Feywild's problem. Yeah, well, let's do it last so that Shu has enough time to, you know, get her, get her friend to do the stuff they want. Sure. See? You know, it, 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 this, this is what talking does, you know? We <laughs> have... Uh, you know, I don't feel like this is a very poor plan, but it it's a plan nevertheless, and it could definitely be improved. Yeah, but we'll work definitely. on that. Let's let's get out of here alive first. Yeah, we should probably. Lay has that. a. You have a point. Speaking of getting out alive, uh, so I will end session like this as uh, as all of you actually go onto the teleporter, and you eventually, of hey. course, <clears throat> whoa, you eventually step through the portal, and yay! I. <clears throat> oh, that map. Load that map. As all of you are encompassed, I am by looking the portal, at the title of the map. As as uh, all of you are suddenly taken through the portal, everything seems to go black for one second. As suddenly, uh -oh. <clears throat> whoa, whoa, you're all hit by somewhat of an intense heat. As basically, all of you seem to be within a heated room. Specifically, <clears throat> as all of you end up within a throne room. The king has called you all here in order to uh, ask you for a mission. For whatever reason, all of you have oh. uh, arrived here and appeared in order to. Uh, Wait, I sure love it how the, the map is still um, loading. <clears throat> take Wait the king's a fucking message minute. As, uh, Wait a fucking... as all of you step forward. No, no fucking way. Still I'm really still like waiting. waiting. Yep, don't worry. Boy, it's like a bit. <clears throat> if we got teleported to paradise, 
Do I see the green king? The we, the green the king. we know this is. There isn't. I know. We know we can get boozled here. We know this isn't real because the Greek king is dead. It's not gonna be the Greek oh, king. Dear. It's gonna be another. It's king. gonna be Theridin. It is. I'm calling it now, baby. I know the when Void said his heat, and then we were called for a mission. We oh, got timing by me fucking walking. Oh right, his room was just full of lava. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. No. I'm not. I'm still here. Oh, 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 there we go. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yep. I knew it. Void, you rat. Wow. Wait, that's my old ass. As, uh, <laughs> <laughs> as what you see is that as all of you have entered, you basically get the mission, uh, the, the thing within your mind, the mission, the work to... Uh, Go meet the king. However, right before, as soon as all of you enter in, uh, memories sort of flood into your minds of everything that has happened. No. Wait, what? As, uh, <laughs> My art is so cringe. I'm looking at it. <laughs> Except for Lay, but... Lay is the same. <laughs> Lay is still this. I couldn't find Lay's old art because I think it's been the same the entire time. Uh, or I, I, well, I, I've, I've got my uh, old token. Uh, <laughs> oh my yes. god. Not Void Gaming. <laughs> As, uh, it's a question mark. I love it. Oh, wow. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh my gosh. There it is. All right. Oh man. <laughs> Technically, this isn't the token art I started with, but is I know. it is the <laughs> canonical. Yes, uh, this is hilarious. Bellow. Whoa! As uh, yeah, all of you find it here. As I will end session here. As you seem to be in a very memorable place. In addition, God. as as all of you look down, you have your old bodies. Whoa. Anyway. Oh boy, it's time, it's to time to play the level one rogue. The mouth. I said we still have all our memories, so we still have all of our experiences. Yes, probably. you are still level 23. Yes. Oh my am god. I, am I still a world ender, or do I go back to world eater? Congratulations, you still have a Wari beside you. <laughs> I want to kill a Wari oh, again! <laughs> No! Oh like, god. <clears throat> oh wait, no, Owari's in here. That means Owari can see this. Oh, oh you no. Owari. But yes, uh, <laughs> BRB is an instrument. I hope you enjoyed today's session. It was very fun. And of course, the sequel.